lot of my inspiration actually comes from uh, either reading books, historical books, you get inspired by some of the scenes that you see in the books, or if I'm driving down the road traveling, I might see a certain spot that I can visualize, a camp scene or some horses or things of that nature, and that kind of inspires me. I paint right here, yeah. I, I sit behind this desk here, and they have, I have my easel set up, and they give me a chair, so I just fill this place up with small little pieces, something like this. And the bigger pieces, I uh, take upstairs. Being in the Air Force, wherever I went, they found out I could uh, draw or paint. And uh, so they, my commanders would ask me if I can do a piece on their wall in the office or in the hallways or whatever. There was a school that I attended, the Little Eagle Indian Day School. It's up north toward Mobridge. And in the hallways of that uh, school were these huge murals done by an individual named Ambrose Shields. And he was my total inspiration. That's where I got everything. I used to stand there as a kid and look up at these murals and just visualize being there. You know, I could hear the buffalo running. I could hear the dust, see the dust flying.